look at how tall I am right now. It's because I'm standing up and I always film sitting. It's like over a week later and I still don't have my voice back from Fan Expo. I wasn't sick, I just lost my voice from talking to people, so... I'm just gonna Emma Stone this whole video and I hope that that's okay. Hey guys, so in today's video I'm gonna be doing another Society6 haul and I've already done one before. This is a different one, very different because the last video was just random stuff that I really liked on the website. And this video is themed. Basically anything that you can decorate your home or bedroom or apartment or wherever you it is that you live. Maybe in a hollow tree if you're a Disney princess. I don't know your life. But you do, and you can decorate it. Now this haul isn't gonna be exactly like my last one because a lot of this stuff isn't conducive to like picking it up in front of the camera and showing it to you and be like, oh look, it's this little thing. It's stuff that you put in your home. So I'm gonna take you and show you where this stuff is in my home as we go. I talked about this in the last video, but I mean, I really like Society6 because you are supporting the artist who made the design. In a nutshell, you guys know me, a lot of the stuff in my apartment, about the majority of it, is stuff that I either bought at a thrift store or was a hand-me-down and then customized. Most of the things that I own are just old things that I made new and cool. But sometimes you do have to buy a new thing, like a shower curtain. You can't really buy a used shower curtain. So when you have to do that, it's nice to get something that matches your taste and your style. And it's even better if you can like literally put money into the hands of the person who designed it. To start off, I have three beautiful tapestries. They're just gorgeous. So tapestries are really fun. They're basically just printed fabric that you can hang on your wall. So instead of doing a wallpaper, you can do a much more temporary version of that, which is to hang up a tapestry that might fill your whole wall. I've seen people hang them like behind their bed if they don't have a headboard, that looks really good too. And this is a little hint for any of you who either make YouTube videos or are thinking about making YouTube videos is I wanted to use these as temporary backgrounds for videos. I just thought that would be so cool because there's so many amazing like prints and things like that and if you're like a beauty guru or something you know sometimes you're trying to film a video and like the background is too busy. So if you have a tapestry behind you it just creates like a cohesive look. I'm gonna have to hang these up to show them to you because they're quite big. So this one is actually on the smaller end of the tapestries but as you can see it's still huge. It's still perfect. You could like totally center yourself to do a YouTube video in front of this. And look, it has kittens. I love it! Now, as you can see, this one is way bigger. And I don't even think that this is the biggest size. I think this is the medium, I'm pretty sure. But this is so gorgeous. I've actually already used this one for a video. I just love this design. It screams like a vintage, almost like a little bit mid-century, but not quite. There's a lot of influences here, obviously. I love this print. I think it's beautiful. And you know why I picked it out? To be totally honest with you, I thought that it would go well with my hair. Because I figured I was going to be filming videos with it, and it's got all these blues, which looks good with my hair. But it's got a little bit of pink too, so I thought, why not? And last up, we have this tapestry that I just fell in love with. It's called Little Mermaid. Right? Okay. So it's like a glitter that is very much in focus here and then it gets like blurred out in sort of like a depth of fieldy kind of way. But it just looks so pretty on the wall and I just thought it'd be so nice for like hair tutorials and stuff. I don't know. I just really love these colors. I mean, turquoisey, seafoam green, lavender. I love it. I love this tapestry. I'm pretty sure that this one is like the medium size. So it's still huge. I mean, you can see I can't even reach. I mean, I'm not a great test because I'm pretty much a hobbit, but you know, you know what I mean. So next up we have this area rug and it's made of like a woven polyester. And I had never seen this artist before. Like I wasn't familiar with their stuff or their designs, but once I saw these colors, I just, I had to have it because <laughs> I, this is, okay, this is like the most Pinteresty thing that I own, but I don't care, I love Pinterest. I was just gonna film the carpet, but then I thought this is good size reference. It's like, you know how you put a quarter next to a bug that's really big? 
Well, if you put an ant next to a carpet, you can see how big the carpet is. Look, I don't know, okay? But look at this carpet. I also got a duvet cover, and as you can see, it isn't my normal pink everything, um, because I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to make, like, the bedroom space super, super soothing and calm. So the reason I picked this one is, it starts with this, like, water at the bottom here, like the ocean, and then as it comes up, it meets the skyline right here, and it fades into this, like, very pale baby pink. And I really liked that. I thought it was really sweet. And all of these pillows, I'm gonna show you each of them, but they are all by the same artist on Society6. They go by Wacka, that's their store name, and these pillows are wild, I gotta show you them. When I found these on the website, I knew I just had to grab them. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just like this Rodeo Drive, True Beverly Hills type of pattern, and I just loved them. This one, I, oh, careful, little bear. Oh, now you're gonna fall. This one I loved because it was like sprinkles, obviously, but the cool thing was that at the store, there's so many designs, but they all matched each other, so I was able to pick out a bunch of throw pillows that really went together cohesively, and they all kind of matched everything that I already own. So it worked out really, really well, and I love them. One more super awesome thing for this room, because in the last video, I got a Paulina Gana Show Sailor Moon throw blanket. This time, I wanted to get another one because I love that blanket so much. Everybody who comes to my house is like, this blanket is the softest thing I've ever touched. I really want one. But this time, I went with the small lady design. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so soft. I also got one more throw pillow. This one's by a different artist. It's like super baroque, beautiful, floral, and it matched the walls. So right now, we're in my bathroom. They're terribly exciting, I know. Uh, but the cool thing is Society6 sells shower curtains, and you can get whatever you want printed on them, and they have so many amazing designs. This is the everyday shower curtain that I picked out. I know, it's a little less girly than I usually go for, but I wanted something like a little bit more muted for in the bathroom because most of my bathroom accessories are pink, like my towels and my bath mat and all that stuff. So I thought it might be smart to go with something that has some pink in it, but it's just a really cute floral and I just really liked this one. As you all know, I love this time of year because we have Halloween and we have Christmas and those are the happiest times of the whole year other than my birthday. And so I had this thought to myself, I was like, you know what? What is the one place that I always find really difficult to decorate at the holidays? The bathroom. What if I got themed shower curtains for Halloween and Christmas? So this one is absolutely perfect for this time of year. This is like super cute pumpkins. It's like obviously very rustic, but I thought it would be so cool to coordinate like my towels with this. So like do some like orange towels with maybe like a nice little pop of green. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute and it's so much easier to decorate for the holidays in your bathroom by just getting a decorative shower curtain. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. And last but not least, we have the Christmas shower curtain and it has this sweet little reindeer and the presents and I really love this artist's style. The link to this particular shower curtain is in the description. I encourage you to check out everything in this artist's store. It's amazing. This artist has great style. I'm so excited to put this one up. Oh, I can't wait till Christmas. Oh. And that's my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. The links to every specific item are in the description. So if you like anything in this video, you can go directly check it out. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye!